Dear students, now we are going to discuss TE waves in circular waveguide and derive its field components. Okay, TE means transverse electric waves. These are the waves in which the electric field is entirely transverse along the direction of propagation. For example, consider the wave is traveling in the z direction. Then the electric field in that direction becomes transverse that means zero here the magnetic field is present in that direction that is hz is not equal to zero do you all understand this one in case of te waves ez is equal to zero hz is not equal to zero this is the condition okay so next we are going to derive the field components of this te waves we have already derived the general field components of electromagnetic waves in circular waveguide in the previous lecture video. So you can refer that video for this general field components. So in this TE waves, we are going to use this field components directly. Okay. So here the general field components of electromagnetic waves in circular waveguide are given as zero. H rho, E5 and H5. Okay. So here E rho is equal to minus J omega mu by H square dou H z by rho dou phi minus gamma by H square dou E z by dou rho. H rho is equal to J omega epsilon by H square dou E z by rho dou phi minus gamma by H square dou H z by dou rho. E phi is equal to J omega mu by H square dou H z by dou rho minus gamma by h square dou e z by rho dou phi and h phi is equal to minus j omega epsilon by h square dou e z by dou rho minus gamma by h square dou h z by rho dou phi. So these four equations are very very important one. We are going to find out the field components of T e waves using these four expressions okay. So in this expressions, we are going to substitute E z is equal to 0. Okay. Then this terms become 0. Okay. Then we can get E rho is equal to minus J omega mu by H square dou H z by rho dou phi. That is the first equation. H rho is equal to minus gamma by H square dou H z by dou rho. That is the second equation. E phi is equal to J omega mu by H square dou H z by dou rho. Third equation. And H phi is equal to minus gamma by H square dou H z by rho dou phi. That is the fourth equation. So now we have obtained this field components in terms of H z alone. So in the next step we are going to substitute the value of this H z in these four equations to get the field components of TE waves. Okay. So here the magnitude of the HZ is given as Cn Jn of rho H cos N phi. So here Cn is the constant value. Here Jn of rho H. Here J represents the Bessel function. Okay. So we have already discussed Bessel function in circular waveguide in the previous lecture video. Okay. So you can refer that video for better understanding. So now we are going to substitute this HZ value in the above four equations. Okay. So first we are going to find out the value of E rho component. So here E rho is equal to minus J omega mu by H square dou by rho dou phi of HZ is replaced with this value Cn Jn of rho H cos N phi. Correct. So here we are going to differentiate with respect to phi. We can take the C and J n of rho h outside as a constant or independent of this phi value. Here the differentiation of cos n phi is nothing but minus sin n phi into n. Okay, then we can get the value as e rho is equal to minus into minus plus j omega mu n by rho h square c n j n of rho h sin n phi. Consider this as the fifth equation. So this is the e rho component. Next we are going to find out 
h rho value that is equal to minus gamma by h square dou by dou rho of c and j n of rho h cos n phi. Okay. So here we are going to differentiate with respect to this rho. Then we can get h into j n dash of rho h. So here dash represents what? First order differentiated Bessel function. Okay. Then we can divide this h value. Then we can get the answer as minus gamma by h c n j n dash of rho h into cos n phi. Correct. So this is the value. But for this T e waves, we have to assume there is no attenuation loss. There is only the propagation loss. Here the propagation constant gamma becomes j beta. Then the expression can be written like this. H rho is equal to minus gamma is replaced with the value j beta by h c n j n dash of rho h cos n phi. Consider this as the sixth equation. So this is the field component h rho value for T e waves okay so similarly we can find out the value of e phi e phi is equal to what j omega mu by h square dou by dou rho of c n j n of rho h cos n phi here we are going to differentiate with respect to rho then we can get j omega mu by h square c n h j n dash of rho h cos n phi here h n h divided we can get the value as e phi is equal to j omega mu by h c n j n dash of rho h cos n phi that is the seventh equation finally we can get the value of h phi that is equal to minus gamma by h square dou h z by rho dou phi then substitute the value of this h z we are going to differentiate with respect to phi okay so then we can get the answer as minus into minus plus gamma becomes j beta here it is n c n j n of rho h sin n phi divided by h squared into rho consider this as the eighth equation okay we have derived all the field components of te waves in circular wave guide so in the next step we are going to find out the relation between the field components for that we can divide the e rho value by h phi value so what is the e rho value that is fifth equation j omega mu n by rho h square c n j n of rho h sin n phi h phi value that is eighth equation j beta n divided by h square rho c n j n of rho h sin n phi right so then we can simplify all the terms over here we can get the answer as what's the answer it is omega mu by beta correct so here e rho by h phi is equal to omega mu by beta from this we can get the value of e rho using this formula okay so this is the relation between e rho and h phi similarly we can get the relation between e phi and h rho for that we can divide e phi by the value of h rho we can get the relation as e phi by h rho is equal to minus omega mu by beta do you all understand this concept so finally we can express the field components of te waves in circular wave guide in terms of instantaneous values okay so this all are the instantaneous field components of te waves instantaneous means we can consider the time okay so here the field components can be multiplied with the exponential value e power minus j omega t minus beta z. So, this all are the instantaneous field components of T e waves. Okay. Next, dominant mode in circular wave guide. The mode or wave which is having the lowest cutoff frequency is called as dominant mode. For this transverse electric waves, T e 1 1 is the dominant mode in circular wave guide so here te11 wave is having the lowest cutoff frequency in circular wave guide so in this one electric field is in radial direction for this te11 wave here the electric field is towards the conducting medium direction okay magnetic field is around the conductor so this is the structure of te11 mode okay so next excitation method so this te11 mode 
can be excited using coaxial cable okay